Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Gideon's Tactical. I'm really excited to do this uh, versus side-by-side -side video of the RAT5 versus the SE5. Just give you a little uh, history about these two knives. This is the father. This is the son. The RAT5 came first. The SE5 came second. Randall's Adventure Training, which RAT stands for, uh, partnered originally with Ontario Knife Company, and then years later, uh, went their own way and started their own company called SE Knives and that's how we have RAT and SEs and they're very similar and uh, just a lot of people try and figure out okay what's the difference is you know is it worth having a RAT is it better to you know spring for the extra money and get the SE so uh, I'm not going to get into the politics of knife culture and you know why RAT, uh, Randall's Adventure Training left Ontario blah 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 and I'm going to state right off the top that I'm not brand myopic in other words just because it has SE stamped on the blade doesn't mean necessarily it's a you know uh, blows all the competition out of the water and it's not even worth looking at rat knives or other knives that are similar to an SE knife so uh, you know that's why I'm doing this video is just kind of give you some comparisons you make your ultimate decision whether or not which knife is better uh, purchase for you I'm just giving you my opinion after having used both these blades hard uh, for I, I don't know probably 30 40 50 hours of uh, you know woods use on each of these blades easily um, over the last several months you know, using them on multiple trips and stuff. I'm just going to give you my overall impressions of each blade uh, and the differences. So, <clears throat> what we have here, as you can see, very, very similar. Uh, you know, and the micarta handle scales, the shape, everything like that. The steel is 1095 high carbon. For the RAT, it's a Rockwell hardness of 55 to 57. For the SE5, it is 57 flat. They do have different heat treatments. I will say that the SE has a slightly better heat treatment, so you're going to see very slight edge retention better on the SE5 than you will on the RAT5. Not by much. Uh, you know, I mean, it's almost unnoticeable, but you can't, but, uh, you know, over really hard use, particularly with chopping and batoning, you'll see that the RAT5 will start to get some little burrs on it a little bit faster on the edge than on on the SE5. The weights are different as well. The RAT5 weighs in at 11 and a half ounces and the SE5 weighs in at 16 ounces. So a pound for the SE5 and 11 and a half ounces for the RAT5. And the reason for that, because the micarta handle scales are almost exactly the same cut, feel, thickness, uh, that's all in the thickness there guys. The SE5 down here is a quarter inch thick, whereas the RAT5 is 316 so you can see that that is definitely a big difference there there's definitely a huge amount of difference uh, and the rat 5 has a full flat grind whereas the se5 has a saber grind so those are some different things to note the cutting edge on the rat 5 is 4.3 inches and the cutting edge on the se5 is five inches even the rat, the rat 5 gives you a really generous finger choil that's very easy to grasp, really get in there and do your detailed work very easily, and does give you a nice set of jimping there. And again, the handle scales are literally mirror images of each other. The handle scales are exactly the same in every way, shape, and form. So they do give you a generous finger choil there on the rat 5. The SE 5 does not. It just kind of gives you this little blank spot here. I would have liked to have them either just bring the edge all the way into the handle right here, or given us an actual finger choil. Either way, it would been a little bit helpful for that more detailed fine working because that's one thing that I've noticed is that you know if you're looking for a sledgehammer of a knife the SE5 is going to be the one to go for I mean quarter inch thick one pound I mean that thing is is basically indestructible it's basically a little pry bar slash sledgehammer uh, that has an edge on it whereas um, the RAT5 is definitely maybe not as strong with prying capability and stuff but it's definitely more comfortable in your hand for long periods of time when you're processing wood particularly you know carving whittling you know that finer detailed stuff just because it has that finger choil it's thinner you know so that 3 16 is going to be able to slice a little bit better through stuff maybe you know game processing as well and uh, you know just that more fine detailed stuff and it weighs you know 11 and a half versus one pound um, so th that's just something to note is that if you're doing a lot of fine detailed work the RAT5 is just gonna feel more comfortable in your hand for a longer period of time and not fatigue your hand as quickly the RAT5 over the SE5 but your SE5 is gonna chop better and it's gonna baton better just it's pure physics you know I mean it just weighs more and it's thicker so it's gonna baton through wood quicker and easier and it's gonna be able to chop through wood a lot better uh, with the SE5 you get a nice little bow drill hole there and then, then the glass breaker and then on the RAT5 no bow drill hole on either side and then you get 
the glass breaker as well. So that's very similar. A lot of people will say, okay, well, what about the fit and finish? Uh, I, I agree that in the past, rat knives have uh, and knives out of Ontario Knife Company, their fit and finish, in other words, how the handle scales line up, the coatings and stuff, have been pretty bogus. And, you know, it's real hit or miss. But in the last year, we've ordered several different items here on the channel from Ontario Knife Company, and they've come out perfect. The, the grind angle is perfect on this rat. I didn't have to do any sort of modding, you know, on the grind angle. It was perfect 50-50. Uh, you know, the coating's holding up really well. The handle scales were perfectly machined in just as well as the SE5. So the handle scales are exactly the same, you know, comfortability as well as quality. And that discoloration is just the water, the moisture on the ground here. Um, you know, picking up on the micarta. Excuse me, my uh, stuffy nose is just getting over a cold. <clears throat> But um, that's something that I will note, that the fit and finish from Ontario is getting a lot better and in competition with SE. I think the coating still will hold up a little bit better on the SE, but the fit and finish uh, out of Ontario, particularly with the handle scales, is perfect. Dead on, no complaints at all with the lineup of this Rat 5 and other Rat and model knives and Ranger knives that we've gotten this year that we've reviewed. The handle scales have lined up perfectly. You know, There's really no complaints with the fit and finish of Ontario's knives coming out of their factories here in 2013. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Uh, I will say before we look at the she's and then we'll kind of wrap up the video is that the Rat 5 is just quicker in the hand, you know, so if you're looking for a really good, you know, like self-defense fighting knife, the Rat 5 is going to be a little bit faster, a little bit quicker to wield, you know, they give you the same about a lockup, you know, with the finger guard down here and then the jimping on both of them, you know, so that's about the same. The tip is thinner as well on the Rat 5, so you're not going to be able to pry as much, but it'll be able to stab and penetrate a lot quicker and easier than your SE 5 would. So I would say for a pure fighting knife, the Rat 5 actually might be a little bit better, but if you're looking for something that you can pry with, you know, really strong, tough, and that's not to say that the SE 5 can't be used in a fighting situation, it just is heavier, you know, at a pound, you're trying to wield that and swing that around and fight somebody, uh, you know, stab, and then the tip is just a lot thicker, so it's going to be a little harder to penetrate something, you know, than... Uh, the Rat 5 wood. It's going to get right in there real quick. So let's go ahead and look at the sheaths and then we'll wrap up the video. All right, so the Rat 5 comes with this nylon sheath. You got a little pocket up here for multi-tool or sharpener or whatever you would want to put in here. Then you get some paracord lashing, molly along the back, nice belt loop. You can run, you know, different size belts through. Then you got your two lashing points. Knife just slides right into place. They are adjustable so you can get it really nice and secure and snug. And there it is. You got some rattle, not too bad, and the retention's really good. You know, the edge isn't coming out at all. You just pop the two buttons, and the knife comes sliding out. So for a nylon sheath, not bad, uh, but it, when you'll see, and you'll see the uh, Kydex sheath of the SE5 in just a second, no competition compared to the, the SE5 just blows this nylon sheath out of the water. But for a nylon sheath, not bad, doable, gets the job done. So the SE5 comes with one of the best Kydex sheaths, I believe, on the market. Awesome Kydex. It's going to lock in really nice. It comes with this paddle construction back here so that you can easily click it onto your belt. And this will also go through most molly. So you could loop it through molly and then, you know, just attach some paracord down here to you know, get it to a pack. So that drop leg is awesome. The knife just clicks right into place. Real nice and secure there. And then it has this retention screw that when it's down like this, you got that nice thumb ramp, boom, really easy to pull the knife out. But if you're running and gunning or you just don't, you're not going to be using the knife for a while, you just push the screw all the way up and then the knife is locked into place. The Kydex has, you know, crimped the handle guard and now I cannot remove, no matter how hard I push, I cannot get that uh, knife out of the Kydex sheath. So this is probably one of the best Kydex sheaths on the market, just a total home run and uh, really blows almost all the competition out of the water, including the nylon sheath on the Rat 5 is no competition compared to this awesome Kydex sheath that the SE5 comes with. Well, okay, everybody, you've seen the side-by-sides of these two knives, um, and I gotta say, you know, that the quality is there on both of them. Obviously, you're gonna get an overall just better quality knife with the SE5. You know, you're gonna get a better quality sheath, uh, you know, the coating's going to probably hold up a little bit better, and, you know, you're going to get slightly, again, a very slight edge retention better on the SE5 than you would with the Rat 5, almost unnoticeable, and particularly if you're doing just mostly carving and cutting, not a lot of chopping and batoning, you're not going to really even notice a difference between the two, edge retention holding, and they both take an edge really easily. I mean, it's almost, you know, it takes nothing to get an edge back on these razor sharp with both of these knives. 
Now, the d big difference here is that the SE5 is going to run you right around 140 bucks, give or take. You know, it's going to be a little bit more, a little bit less, depending on where you buy them. About 140 bucks. RAV5 is going to be about 75 dollars, depending on where you buy it. So that's a huge, you know, difference. And so you just really need to weigh, you know, your pros and cons. Okay, is it worth, you know, basically double the price for an SE5 over a RAV5? It really just depends on what you're doing and what you're looking for. Uh, you know, if you're doing mostly just carving, whittling, not a lot of chopping, not a lot of batoning, maybe you carry an axe, maybe you're rocking an SE. Hungalis or Ontario Artac 2, you know, or something like that for all your big chopping and batoning tasks, and you just want a knife, you know, to just do carving, whittling, and more, you know, your camp knife, then, uh, you know, that Rat 5 might be a better option for you because it'll cost less, it's going to weigh less, and it won't fatigue your hand as quickly, and it's just going to slice a little bit better with that full flat grind versus the saber grind and the 3 sixteenths of an inch thick versus the quarter inch thick. On the other hand, you know, if you just want something that uh, is indestructible and it's going to baton, and you just want to basically take one knife that's around five inches long that's going to be able to baton chop carve cut you know do everything and anything then the se5 is definitely going to be the knife that you're going to want to you know pick up and and carry i will note as well because i know there's going to be a lot of se fans out there who are like well what about the warranty i have dealt with the warranty issues on both se's and rats and ontario knife company and se and i haven't had any issues both do a great job you know um they both save lifetime warranties on their knives, and I haven't had any issues with Ontario saying they won't honor, uh, you know, a warranty issue. And I know SE does a great job with their warranty issues as well. So. Um, both ones, you know, if you break either of these knives it, for some stupid reason, you're going to get it replaced. Uh, you, so you don't really have to worry about that. So I hope this review has helped you guys out. Again, I'm not brand myopic. Uh, it just kind of depends on what you're looking for, what you need. Uh, the SC knife is obviously, the SC5 is going to overall be better quality. But the don't be afraid of the Rat 5 or think that, oh, you know, I don't know if it's worth it or, you know, it's total hit or miss. The Rat 5 has really served me well and I really enjoy using it. And uh, it really just depends on what you're going to be using your knife for to determine whether or not you want an SE5 or a RAT5. Both great knives in their own regard. Uh, a lot of it is just price point and exactly what you're going to be using it for. So I hope this versus side-by-side -side has helped you guys out. Thanks for watching. Stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.